I'm Dan Kudo, longtime member of the California Society of Health System Pharmacists, or CSHP. Each year, this organization recognizes one individual who has made exceptional and sustained contribution to the society at the affiliate and state level with the Distinguished Service Award, or DSA. The 2023 recipient is Dr. Bill Gong, a professor at USC School of Pharmacy. Dr. Gong, can you provide us with some of your background in pharmacy? I completed my doctor of pharmacy degree. And at that time, when I first completed that, I felt I needed to do something that I can make a contribution to the profession. Originally, I have to admit, when I started pharmacy school, I thought I would be a pharmaceutical chemist. But as I got into pharmacy school, or as I went through pharmacy school, I learned that a pharmacist can do so much more as a practitioner and really make an impact on the patient. And that's when I decided I wanted to be a clinical practitioner and I wanted to do a residency and pursue my career that way. Since completing my residency, I was able to be fortunate enough to be involved with the University of Southern California School of Pharmacy again, to be a faculty member, to be involved in setting up some pharmacy services which was really unique at the time, back in the 70s. Back in the 70s, there was not a whole lot of attention that was given to the patients out in the community. Most of the care that were highly focused were at the medical center. In fact, that's what most healthcare practitioners wanted to do. They wanted to do the high power of medicine at the general medical centers. But what was happening was that there were a large group of patients on the community that were really I don't want to say being neglected, but in a sense, they were just because the focus wasn't there. And so at that time, when I was at USC during my residency, I met with the county administrators and we talked about how we need to bring services out to the community, not just pharmacy, but the whole medical team. And that's how I got involved in terms of setting up pharmacy services in the primary care environment and the housing project in East LA. So that's how I started. 40 plus years ago, but I do have to say, I'm still in the profession, I'm still doing it. In the 40 plus years I've been at USC, my career has really taken a lot of turns over the years. Basically, this just represents how great pharmacy is as a profession, that there are so many different opportunities. Again, I mentioned I've been at USC for 40 plus years, but I haven't been doing the same thing the entire time. Every few years, things have evolved. And so I'm just really fortunate to be in the profession where there are so many opportunities. And that's something I want you and the public to understand that pharmacy is a great profession with lots of opportunities, something for everybody at every part of their life. Why should a pharmacist want to be part of CSHP? One thing about being involved with CSHP is that you really get to in interact with a lot of your colleagues and what's really nice is that you have a good network of folks that are highly motivated in terms of making the profession go well and do good things. So this is why I think everyone should be involved. What is a leader? I think a leader is someone that just goes involved, gets involved, sharing their knowledge and their experiences. What are the most rewarding things you've done as a pharmacist? I've been involved with the patient counseling law, if you will. I had written a list of guidelines in terms of what patient counseling should be. I was really surprised how it actually became a congressional law. It became part of OBRA 90. It actually made patient counseling as a requirement. It wasn't being done in the 80s at the time. And I felt there was a need to have something written up. Eventually it became a law, which to my surprise, a lot of it was almost verbatim to what I put together. It's really amazing. I feel really good about that accomplishment, so to speak. From your perspective, what does the future look like for pharmacists and pharmacies? I think there's still so much potential for pharmacists. I think it's a great one of the greatest careers you can go into, to be honest with you. I am so enthusiastic about it, of the different opportunities. One thing about pharmacy is that oftentimes people think of it as going into a community pharmacy practice. Yes, there's still a role, but you know, sometimes people are beginning to realize there are so many more roles you can go into 
clinical practice in a health system in a medical center. You can go into clinical practice in a health clinics. You can even have a pharmacist managed practice in a community pharmacy environment. So this is more patient focused care that pharmacists are getting involved with. Pharmacists can go into research. They can go into industry. There are so many opportunities uh, for pharmacists. In fact, the biggest growth in the past few years has been pharmacists going to the pharmaceutical industry. Just because pharma is recognizing that pharmacists are a really valuable asset and they can contribute a lot in a short time in the pharmaceutical uh, industry area. So I think it's a bright future. You just need to find what you want to do um, and you'll get there. Thank you, Dr. Gong. I'm sure your stories will inspire other pharmacists to strive for excellence in the pharmacy practices. Thank you very much for sharing your insights, Dr. Gong. Thank you, it's great talking to you. If anyone wants to reach out to me, you can reach me out at USC. Bye, Don. <laughs>